Welcome to the DTS version 4 video series. This webinar is an introduction to DTS version 4.2. The objective of this webinar is to introduce you to the new features in version 4.2 of DTS. In addition to a number of bug fixes and continuing performance improvements, DTS 4.2 adds three significant new features. An all namespace subset filter, namespace and subset profiles, and simplified management of DTS editor modules and plugins. Let's start by looking at new subset features. I've opened the editor and selected the subset editor. Now I'll create a new subset called the all namespace subset. Let's open the expression and add a namespace filter. Previously, subset namespace filters required a specific namespace to be selected. In version 4.2, the All option is available. The All namespace filter operates like other namespace filters. For example, only one all namespace filter is permitted in an expression. There is, however, one condition on this filter. Concept hierarchy filters are not permitted below an all namespace filter. Other filters, such as a concept name filter, can be added. Attribute filters are also permitted below an all namespace filter, and the specified attributes can be selected from all namespaces or a specific namespace. If a specific namespace is selected, only the attribute type from that namespace will be tested. Let's add another property filter, but this time we'll leave the type namespace to be all. The property types that are available is the list of all the type names in the database, independent of namespace. Let's pick the code and source property type. When code and source is selected, the filter applies to all types that exist in any namespace that have that name. Let's create a preview of this subset. The subset panel demonstrates another addition to the subset editor. Preview concepts can now be displayed with a primary sort of either the concept name or the namespace. The selected sort option is maintained in the DTS editor configuration file. This feature has been added to support multi-namespace subsets. Finally, the subset editor now supports drag of namespaces subsets, and concepts to other DTS editor panels. Let's now move on to namespace and subset profiles. We'll open the namespace editor. For some projects, it may be necessary to create a number of namespaces or subsets that have similar synonym, property, and association types, that is, types having the same names. DTS 4.2 provides the profile capability to meet this need. When creating a new namespace or subset, 
The new dialog includes the ability to specify a profile. The profile combo contains the list of available profiles. When the new namespace is created, the types in the profile are automatically added. It is not necessary to add the types through the attribute editor. To create and maintain profiles, you can click on the profile button. A link to the profile editor is also available in the tools menu. The layout of the profile editor is similar to that of the attribute editor. Profiles have a name, a description, and a set of attribute types. After selecting or creating a profile, each of the attribute type tabs show the types that are part of the profile. To add a new type, click on the Add button, type in the desired name, and select the type parameters from the cells. Profile options include save, rename, copy, restore, and delete. The parenthetical at the end of a profile name is its class. Two classes of profiles are available. User profiles are known only to the current user. They can be freely created, edited, and deleted by that user. User profiles are not seen by any other user on the DTS system. System profiles, on the other hand, are seen by all users and are read-only to those users. Only a user having the DTS administrator application server role can create, edit, or delete system profiles. All profile definitions are saved in the DTS database. They are not maintained locally on the client system. It may be desired, however, for users to share profiles without promoting them to system status. And user profiles wishing to be promoted to system status must be transferred to the DTS system manager for review and posting. The import and export options in the profile editor file menu are available to save and restore profile definitions via local XML files. Once saved, the resulting XML file can be emailed to recipients for loading or curation. Finally, we'll look at the new module manager capability. Despite the flexibility offered by DTS editor modules and plugins, some users and user organizations have experienced difficulties in performing the steps to load modules, keep them up to date, and distribute specific module versions. DTS 4.2 now offers the module manager facility to address these issues. The module manager is modeled after the Windows update capability, a way for the user to query via the internet the status of available modules and automatically load or update selected modules. The module manager is available through the DTS options menu. When the module manager starts, it accesses an internet folder and retrieves a module information file that contains data on all available modules. It uses this information to complete the module manager window. The left panel of the window shows each available module, the installed version of the module, if any, and the most recent version of the module that is available. 
Selecting a module line fills the module info panel on the right. This panel gives summary descriptions of all versions of the module. Previous versions can be selected, but only the most recent version is available for download. Selecting a module line also enables the module action buttons. Press Add to add a new module to the installation. Press Update to update a module to its latest version. Press Remove to remove the module from the installation. Or press Clear to clear any pending module actions. The selected action is shown in the action cell of the module line. I'll also add the graphic viewer. The final feature of the module manager is the preference option at the bottom of the panel. Checking the perform scan on every connect box causes a load and analysis of the information file on every editor startup. If any new modules or module updates are available, an information dialog is shown. After all desired module actions have been selected, press Save to persist the requests in the editor configuration file. Note that module actions are not performed at this time. For technical reasons, module changes can only be made on editor restart. The selected actions will be saved for execution at the next startup. Before this restart, the module manager can be reopened and actions modified. Now I'll close the editor and restart. When the editor is restarted, if there are pending actions, a module update dialog is shown that describes the actions taken. Behind the scenes, for ads or updates, the editor will download any requested module zip files from the internet folder, extract the enclosed files, and save any files requiring update to the lib modules directory. As with manual updating, only the most recent versions of utility files are saved. For remove actions, the lead module file is moved from lib modules to a new backup folder in the installed directory. A record of all module file movements are written to the DTS editor log. The editor is restarted and will do a connect. Here we see the module reminder panel. Since more modules are available and I had checked the perform scan on every restart preference item. Now we'll open the module manager and see that the graphic viewer module has been loaded and the import wizard has been updated. Most DTS licensees will use a common Appalon hosted module information folder that contains the information file and the latest module kits. One of the primary design goals of the module manager, however, was to allow sophisticated licensees to host their own information folder and thus control the types and versions of modules available to their users, and even to add organization developed modules to the information folder. DTS 4.2 contains documentation and utilities to assist these organizations create and maintain their own module manager facility. All the features outlined here are described in the updated DTS Editor User Guide. Thanks for watching. See our other videos on the Apple on YouTube channel or visit www dot apple on dts dot org 
for everything DTS.